Hello everyone, I'm back. I was on vacation. I went on vacation with my daughter to Orlando to Legoland. I made a video. Uh, I think it was like three weeks. I mean, three days ago. I think three weeks ago. I wish I could be on vacation three weeks ago. Um, I made a video explaining where I was, and I wanted you guys to know and everything. See my background in my kitchen. I was gonna do an ASMR, but. My kids are sick. My significant other sick. I have to take care. But I'm hungry. I need to eat. So I'm going to do a mukbang. I'm going to make just my all-time vegan ramen soup. I only had one. I was going to eat like four, but I only have one. I haven't shopped. I arrived yesterday. I was... My my flight was like two and a half hours late. I got home like around 3.30. Went to sleep like at four. Had to get ready because the next day, which is Saturday, I had a wedding at six o'clock in the afternoon. So it was a very bad time. And if and that's why I'm in the kitchen because upstairs my house is horrible. It's like destroyed. If I, guys, if I show you guys, I have clothes everywhere, bags everywhere. I just arrived, I did my hair, my nails, and we left right away because we had to be there at 3 because we had to do a photo shoot. It was amazing. I had a fun time. Um, if you guys want to see, you could check out my Instagram. I put pictures on my Instagram, and I'm going to upload some videos that I had on my Instagram if you guys want to check it out. So, I know you guys are waiting for the ASMR. So I'm, I'm, I'm bringing something really special. So give me some time right now because I just arrived. You know, traveling with kids is always very hard. So I'm going to do a little mukbang to let you guys know and tell you how everything went. So I hope you guys like it. And let's get on with the video. So we're going to start by boiling water, which I just... Um, it's very hot. I just put it to boil. My pans are very like good. They like boil right away. So I'm boiling the water. I never read the directions, guys. Okay, never, never. I do what I want. So I just put. Uh, it's so hard. Okay, so I just put the noodles first and then I put the the I don't know how it's called but I think it's like a stock right is that like a stock and I empty the whole thing tell you I wanted like four but there's something I can do so after that I do this I just pour this in guys this is so good. Oh my god, I'm gonna miss today. This soup is oh the best. I love it. I think it's the best. And it's vegan, right? There's nothing you can ask for, but it's vegan, so uh I'm just putting some I think dry vegetables they come in, dry vegetables. So, let's see. I don't boil them that much. I'll make them al dente. I don't know what's al dente for you guys. So, comment down below. For me, al dente is like not so soggy. And just let it boil. I think I'm going to be hungrier. So, I love this. This is like my go to meal. I know. I just wanted to tell you guys how my trip went and everything that happened to me over there. Mm. So, so how are you guys? I miss you guys. I really did. I didn't have time. There was no Wi-Fi. Everything sucked over there. Besides outside, the Wi-Fi was good, but everything else was really good. We have fun. My kids have fun. 
you know, difficult time, but it was okay. So, see, just boil. And I'll cover it up for like uh, two minutes or so. So let's say it's 521, which is not the time. The time is like 10 o'clock already, but my kitchen is crazy. We fix it, but it doesn't work, but uh, it just goes back to the same time. So, so we just let it cook. I guess I will um, boil it for two minutes, right? Cause you boil it like, I think it was five, seven minutes. I boil it for less. So um, one more minute and should be done. I cover it up and that should be all. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so this is the soup. I'll be having this with Coke. Mm, I haven't had this. I usually have Pepsi, but I haven't had this in a long time. So, mm. and it's so hot right now, too. So, it's good. And I found some seaweed. Oh my guys, I just came from vacation, so my fridge is like empty and my cabins are empty and everything is empty. Seaweed. Teriyaki. Mmm. One dollar. What do you guys think? Is that expensive? I think it's good. I think it's good. Because I buy the one and H Mart, the ones that they actually, um, they're like a lot, but I don't like that. The flavor's weird. I wanna know what they have in it because I just go in there and I pick the natural and I don't like the seaweed taste, but I like this one. Mmm. Mmm, it's so good. So good. And then I'm gonna be eating some pickle. Okay. So how was my vacation? First of all, when I got there, I left my my bag. Okay, we had a carry-on the medicine bag for the kids and then we had an extra bag for like extra clothes and stuff if when they need it like as soon as they get there because you know it's hot so they like they had sweatpants and and stuff so i'm like okay whatever so we got there i had to go to the bathroom and i went to the bathroom so we all went to the bathroom and i was like okay so he's like stay here and then i'll and then when you come out, when he comes out with Carlos, with my son, he'll, you know, he'll stay with the bags and go in. But Victoria had to go. My daughter had to go really bad. So we went together. I went inside with the carry-on and two bags. And then my purse. So I'm like, I got everything. We went. We did what we had to do. We came out. We left. It was like 45 minutes after. Um... A company was gonna pick us up because we rent a car because usually it's better to rent because if it's if you're gonna move you have to you know like call a taxi and it's gonna be more money so it's better like that so when we are about to get inside to go get the rental I remember that my bag was missing I my phone was dead because my son was playing in the airplane with it so it was completely dead I dropped everything and I left. I left um, the kids with the dad. So I'm like, oh my God. I went all over the place. I was so upset. I wanted to cry. 
I was crying. So then, I went everywhere. I went to American Airline. By the way, American Airline, top notch. I loved it. So, I went to American Airlines and like I couldn't go through because my passports were there, all of them. I didn't have no ID, no nothing. They didn't know who I was. I'm like, I just left my bag in the bathroom, the first bathroom um, by American Airlines. Please, I somebody say, no, you cannot go in there. You have to talk to TSA. So they called me to TSA. I went to TSA and I spoke to them and I said the same thing, that I left my bag, that I need to go through. They're like, no, you can't go there. You have to go back to American Airlines and tell them to give you a pass so they could let you through because you don't have an ID. They don't know what you carry. It doesn't matter if you just came out. So then American Airlines, you know what? Just go to the postal police. I think it's called postal. No, no. Orlando police. So I went to to the Orlando police and I'm like, listen, I left my bag there. And I gave the situation, I left my bag there. And my medicines of my daughter's there, my passports. They're like, no, you cannot go through. At that moment that he told me I can't do anything about it, I was crying. I was so pissed, I was crying. He's like, he's like, come down, I know. I'm like, no, you don't understand. My medicine, my daughter's medicine is there. My passports are there. You know, I don't care if they take anything. I just need my passport and my medicine. So some lady was there, some um, lady police. She never told me her name, and I forgot. She was so nice. She said, I'll take you. And the officer was like, you sure? She said, yeah, yeah, I'll take her. So she took me everywhere. So we went all over. We didn't find anything. So remember, I didn't have no phone. After 45 minutes of searching, I was so exhausted. I was tired. I was like, oh, I need the phone. I need to call, you know, my significant other. And they're like, but you have a phone? I'm like, no, my phone is dead. My son was playing with it. You know, my phone has, my 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 son needed something because he has Tourette's and blah, blah, blah. So then they're like, okay, I'll lend you the phone. So they, I called him and he's like, where, where are you? I'm like, oh, I'm just, you know, they couldn't find the bag. And I'm like, where are you? He said, we just got out of the, the car that was going to pick us up to go to Mm. No rental, and then we're waiting for you on the third floor. I'm like, okay, 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 okay. So I went and I told Lost and Found, listen, I lost my bag. This, this, this. So they're like, oh, we're gonna call you. Nobody's gonna return it. And the lady told me, she said, nobody's gonna return that bag. Don't even think about the bag. They probably returned the passports, but not the bag because the the cop told me, I forget her name. The cop told me that nobody returns, you know, nobody takes, nobody can do anything with your passport. I don't know. You think so? Well, she told me that. So, so then she's like, hmm. I everything with pickles. I love pickles. So, she told me, oh, you know, just wait. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna tell my friends, my colleagues to find out if, if um, they see a bag like that. So then I left. I was so sad. We drove like an hour to Orlando because we landed in Orlando, but Legoland was an hour away and like an hour and something away. And then I was so sad. And she, she told me, don't call anymore. Don't call. Call until tomorrow. And he's like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call you if I find something. And if I don't, I just call you again. Just to let you know I didn't find it. So then I'm like, I was so, I was having anxiety. I was so mad. Sorry, guys. Let me move because I'm actually sitting on, on the stairs. There's a stair here. Because the chair was too low. And if I take you guys upstairs, you guys are going to see that it's a mess. So I don't want to fall. So then whatever. So then, um, whatever. So I was like waiting there. I was, kind of, um, um, my kids and my significant other was like, okay, so you know, let's rest for an hour, and then we we'll go out to the park. I didn't want to do anything. I was so bummed. So then I'm like, okay, oh my god. So now. I was like, okay, whatever. So then I, 
I was like, an hour passed and I was still upset. I was so mad. I was like, I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call. He said, no, no, don't call. I'm, I'm gonna call, I'm just gonna call. But then I was, I was giving up. I was like, whatever. Nobody's gonna return that, you know? Nobody, we're gonna take my, you know, I had, in, inside my bag, I had my passport, um, my Gucci um, perfume. I had my Dolce & Cabana makeup, Jeffree Star, um, the collaboration with uh, Manny Moi. I had him too. I had all those things and gum and pencil and item and stuff like that. So I'm like, okay, let me call. So I called him like, whatever. I'm just gonna, you know, do it so, you know, to get it out of my system because if I, oh, you see, I almost got. If I didn't do it, I was gonna be like so mad and I was so upset and I wouldn't like be excited to do something, but whatever. So I'm like, okay. So I called and some guy answered. He's like, oh, hello, it's um, Lawson Service in there. Orlando Airport, that's what they say. I, I don't, honestly don't remember. This is Raul. I'm like, Raul, and you know, I lost my bag. Like, uh, like it was like two hours or two and a half hours already. I lost my bag. It looks like this, 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 this. He's like, okay, give me a second. So then he's like, okay, what's your name? I'm like, oh, my name is blah, 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 blah. How old are you? I'm like, blah, 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 blah. And what do you have? I'm like, I have a uh, two pocketbooks, one gold, one like shiny. I don't know what is it is. Um, what is that called? I don't know. A uh, rhinestone? No, it's not a rhinestone. Whatever. I'll find the word, but something like that. I had like a uh, like a rainbow, you know, um, clutch, a gold clutch, um, some gum. He's like, "What's your name?" I'm like, "Okay, this is my name. This is my last name." He's like, "What's the other people's name?" He's like, "Yeah, I got him." Oh my god! When he told me that. I was so excited. I, I I was like, I cannot believe this. And I'm telling, you know, my significant other, listen, they found it. He's like, you are the luckiest person because I, like, honestly, me, if I found a bag like I had, I would have not returned it. I would return the documents. Everybody would. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'm like that, but I'm being honest. I wouldn't return it. We're talking about Dolce & Gabbana makeup. That recent collaboration with Jeffree Star and Manny Moi. Hello. I honestly wouldn't return it. But now I'm thinking twice. Like, okay, you know what? This happened to me. I don't want people to be like, you know, like, oh, I lost my stomach. And I'm not going to be like them. I guess it's, it happens for a reason, maybe. To open your eyes that everything you know you know it was like a regular bag it was a Victoria's Secret bag it was really nice but I don't know I wouldn't return it am I being too honest mm -hmm. maybe but I know. Comment down below. You guys won't return it either. I know. I wouldn't grab the with your first time because it's a lip gloss. I wouldn't like to put that in my face or my mouth. But I think the makeup I would. No, people, there are crooks out there. Oh my god, this soup is the bomb. But it's very spicy. Oh guys, I have good news for you. I found the vegan fire noodle. I'm gonna buy it and I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. This is very hot though. If this is hot and I'm sweating, I, I wonder how's the other one. I'm just so upset because I don't have rice. 
Rise, rise, rise. Oh my god, so good. So let me tell you, my trip was amazing after all that drama. The room was so nice. Mm, the park was really nice. We had to walk a lot. Like we were staying in Orlando, the hotel, and then next to it, like right next to it, maybe like uh maybe twenty no fifteen steps away was the park. Like when you're bike carrying stuff. And then um the rides were sick. Like I I like heights but to like a certain extent but the rides were really nice they were cool the thing about florida is this oh, the weather it's like it was so hot so nice and the moment you turn around it was black and it was like everything was closed and that was i think it was just people were saying that the summer is like that So, I don't know. That park I didn't like that much. But everything, oh my god, everything was so good, so fun. Well, you know, what did I eat? Let me tell you. Oh my god, it's okay. So, I ate fruits. Carbs, maybe like baked potato with nothing. Um, I had toes. With them. I had a lot of fruits, a lot of fruits, water, water, and more water. You know what? And I forgot to bring a ramen. That was my my thing. But we went to this place after we left Orlando. I mean, after we left Legoland because we were just there for three days. I mean, four days. After four days, there's nothing to do. So what's the point? Oh, in the night they had like shows for kids, so it was fun. The drinks were really good. I wasn't like drinking full. I just I, I was having like a beer, but it was like a apple cider. But it was so good. So, I had this thing called Stella Cider. Oh my god. I usually have Angry Orchard, but that one was so good. I think it was stronger. Uh -huh. I have that one. Um, oh, the sweet potatoes. Oh, I don't like sweet potato. That I hate. But I tried it and they were so good too. So, they had shows in the night. And they had like a dance party for the kids. And they go to bed, and then they had like treasures on the um, on the rooms, and then they have what else? Ooh, spicy! And then I got my kids a fries and chicken like all the time, and then they had pretzels, and then they had I think that was basically it. Yeah, and then they had fries and burgers, but they had that. I used to have just like. Now give me a baked potato, have some fruits or something like that. After we were done with that, we went to this place called the uh, YM, YM or something like that. It was um, right in the Magic Kingdom. And we drove, I think like an hour or something, no, less, 45 minutes from, from Legoland. We were there, the beach, um, the pools, wow. I have pictures. You guys go check my Instagram or being a five sixteen eighty five. And Instagram, I have a lot of pictures. I have a video too. I'm gonna post it in this video right now. Mm. So 
So, um, so we were there. We went to a different um, hotel. It was so nice. Um, what else? We had um, it was like a pool, but in the pool it was like a. It was a um a rock, but the rock was like 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 falls, like waterfalls. So nice. Um, they had a jacuzzi, and they had a bigger pool, like a very deep pool for grown ups. It was so nice. We went to the go cars. We went to. Mm, this place in Orlando called Sweet Tomatoes. Oh my god. It's like this, you know, when you go in, you're like, oh my god, what is this? Like a buffet or something? But they're like 11 kind of, um, like lettuce. I mean, 11 kind of um, different salads, but it's all green. It's like all farm raisin stuff it's so good and they had like like the best lentil soup you know guys i love my lentils i did it like now my lentils were so good i had that and i had um i could have the sleepy because i had bacon but i had i had another one what was it No, no, because the other one had cheese too, so I couldn't have it. It was a vegetarian restaurant, but they have some vegan stuff. So, I was so good. We went to eat there. And then we went to this place, this Thai place. They were making pho. And I had pan fried noodles, vegan pan fried noodles. Oh my God. Mm. So good. Oh, really good. Um, um, what else? Mm. And then we went to a buffet, Chinese buffet, but it was like a very fancy buffet. I wanted to blog, but um, they didn't let me. I have some fruit, some salad, some corn, seaweed sushi by the way, good, avocado sushi, um, cucumber sushi, mushroom sushi, oh it's so good, um, it was really good. Mm. I don't understand. How is this vegan, right? If it tastes like fish. Mm. Mm. And there's a plan, right? But why is it considered vegan? You know, when you tell people that you're vegan, and you tell them, oh, I don't eat anything, right? Why do they think that when you're a vegan, I said that you only eat meat, but they don't consider white meat as an option the thing is like pork or or meat no chicken I'm, I'm, I'm like white meat means like fish and eggs they think like oh you could eat eggs it's okay or you could eat fish fish is not an animal 
But you know what? Sometimes I think we eat plants, right? But plants are alive, right? They don't have a heart. But they're alive too. So what makes us right? I don't know. I always say, because that's what they tell me. Oh, but you eat plants. They're alive. Yeah, but plants don't have emotions. Plants don't have a heart. So, I don't know if we're wrong. I think my opinion is that everybody should do what they want. Okay? That's my opinion. Do I think they're right? Um, I don't think nobody's right. I don't think I'm right. I do what makes me feel happy. No? If eating no I'm an animal product. I feel good. I'll do it. But I don't consider my, I don't consider myself like full vegan. Why? I was I'm only been vegan for like a year, but I don't I don't do it for the because the animals and stuff like that. You know, I was raised in a Spanish culture and they eat animals like left and right. You know, people have farms. They raise them and they kill them. Sadly, but that's true. But me, on the other hand, I do it for health issues. Does it make me feel good? Yeah, of course, hundred percent. Do I feel bad? Yeah, of course. Think about people killing other people, other animals. That's sad. You know. So it's not like nobody's forcing me to be the way I am. I just choose to do it. Like my doctor told me, like you know, you have diabetes, you shouldn't quit everything. I'm like, okay, doctor, what do you think I should do? I think you should eat some fish sometimes and have some eggs once in a while. And that's all. Okay, so I guess when I feel like. That is a moment for me to have something like that. I'll choose it. You know, I have nothing to prove to anybody, and they have nothing to prove to me either. And like I say, this is not. This is not an obligation. This is a choice. And I chose to be like that. Whether well, people think it's weird, you know, they tell you, "Oh my God, but you don't eat any meat." It's it's so funny when people say that. I'm like, no. And how you feel? Well, I, I feel good. I've been doing it for a year, so I think I'm fine. How's, you know, they think, oh, how's your immune system? Well, my immune system has been messed up before I began a vegan, so that's not a problem. Oh, and how's your health? Well, so far, it's good. Why? Because I have, I just, I just, I'm going to fall. I'm telling you, before I put the video, I'm going to like, plus my, you know, my tush or something. So, I did drink a lot of vitamin B and vitamin D's, and they give me some iron. I don't get the shots because they hurt. So, so I drink that. It's doing okay. Um, I guess it could be better, but I'm telling you, my body feels great. Even though they say, you know, you need this, you need this, don't quit everything, you know, my sugar is very low, very, very low. Because I eat carbs, 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 and they don't fill me up, so I keep eating carbs, 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 and carbs become sugar. And then the insulin levels like rise, and then if you have diabetes or pancreas doesn't work, it's like so complicated. So, do I feel like I made a mistake? Oh, no. Why? Because I think I'm healthier than before. Do I feel good? Yes, I feel good. People say, but sometimes you don't look good. 
but look at me doesn't mean I feel it. Oh, I don't know. You guys let me know. You think my, if you don't feel it, but you don't look at it, is it okay or it's not okay? I don't know. Ah, something is just so hard. I think everybody just doesn't mind their own business. Sorry, I'm very open-minded and if this person wants to eat like a mouse, okay, eat a mouse. If this person don't want to eat a mouse, wants to eat plants, okay, eat plants. Do what the hell you want to do. Guys, comment down below, give me a thumbs up if it's not true. You don't like, you don't like people telling you what to do, what to eat, what to put on. I just, I always want, I like to be my own self. I don't care what other people say. I don't care what people tell me. I do, you know, okay, I listen. But, you have to be polite. You're not always going to do what everybody tells you. But you be polite so people don't feel bad. I think sometimes people talk more than they have to. That's what they tell me. I don't know. Maybe I'm being so sarcastic. Maybe I'm mean. Oh my god. This coke feels like oh, heaven. I don't know. Sometimes <clears throat> I think my kids are like a little bit vegan. Because my son, well, he's not a vegan, but he only eats chicken. A certain type of chicken. But, otherwise, you like pancakes and, you know, and eggs and bread. Because he's autistic, he likes certain things. And he loves bacon, so. Before he eat anything, it was only fried, 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 fries. And... Uh, what else? Something potatoes. Potato, potato, potato. But like, you know, like mashed potato. Before he liked it. Now he doesn't like that. Or it was, I used to, this was his breakfast. Fries and bananas. Lunch, fries and banana. Dinner, fries and banana. And then he'll have like a yogurt once in a while. And he loves ice cream. But like water ice cream. He doesn't like milk ice cream. So that was all he ate. My daughter, my, my daughter, on the other hand, she likes, she eats, she eats good. Sometimes she's very, like, like, wants to eat the same thing over and over and again. But my son, on the other hand, is, he's so picky. At school, he will eat every day, 365 days a week, for lunch, he will have peanut butter and jelly. If they don't have peanut butter and jelly, he has a fit. So... Every day he has to eat the same thing. So it's like, but my trip was fun. I hope you guys like this video. Remember, comment, like, and share. Don't forget to subscribe. And comment down below what you guys want me to do next time. What do you want me to eat? What ASMR you want me to do? You know, give me some nice ASMRs. And gave me some you know great ideas for mukbang or let me know which one you like better do you like my smrs or do you like my mukbang you like both of them so let me know and thank you for watching guys and i'm so sorry that i couldn't do anything over there guys the way i sucked like really bad so i guess you guys i hope you guys understand why but I didn't miss you guys, so remember, give me a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, thank you for watching.